They're still not good. That's fine. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another video in front of my door, as you can see, because I'm currently in the process of cleaning my room and getting ready to start streaming. So I had to do a bit of rearranging in my room. Hopefully the next video that you see will be back not in front of my door. I'm really excited for today's video. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. I believe this is the first unboxing video on my newly revamped channel, so that is really exciting. If you are like me, you have been obsessed with TikTok since the quarantine lockdown has started back in March. And if you are also like me, you have been on the Harry Potter side of TikTok. Harry Potter side of TikTok, it has a lot of layers to it. I bought Harry Potter merchandise because I saw it in a TikTok. Uh, okay, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be real with you, I'll be honest with you. I've seen a lot of people unboxing wands on TikTok and I wanted to join in on the fun. Very, very recently, I decided that I wanted to start collecting replica wands from Harry Potter. So to start, I got this. It's in a really cool box. You open it up. It has the Harry Potter Noble Collection proof of authenticity card. And here is the wand. So this is Hermione Granger's wand. This was the first wand that I added to my collection. I just think it's cool having a wand that is a replica of the wand that Emma Watson used in the movie. I think it's really cool and I'm just that kind of movie nerd where I, I want replicas of props. I have an entire corner of my room full of Marvel prop replicas. So. so the wands I will be unboxing today are actually from the exclusive design collection. They recently released a bunch of new wands. There were magical creature wands, there were house mascot wands. So. I bought a bunch of wands. Do I need these wands? No. Am I a 24 year old girl who just spent a lot of money on magic wands? Yes. Do I regret it? No. I already got one a few days ago that I actually opened already because I was impatient and I couldn't wait. We've got the rest of the wands. I am going to start with this wand because it is part of the collection that these came from. However, this just came earlier, so I opened it. As you can see, it comes in a black box with gold foiling on the front. It says, Wizarding World Harry Potter Exclusive Design Collection. It is a really nice box, absolutely beautiful. It does have the name of the wand on this side. It has a nice colored edge, so I will be opening this up. You open it up, and you have this card. So this is the Locket of Slytherin wand. And on this card, it says, Inspired by the mysterious family heirloom of Salazar Slytherin, the Locket of Salazar Slytherin wand prominently features the artifact's ancient symbols set against an amber handle. Symbolic of the power of the ancient pure blood family, this wand is designed for those who will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. And on the other side, you have the Slytherin crest and then all of the trademark and copyright information. Isn't she pretty? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be really honest with you. This was not my favorite wand. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Seeing everybody unbox these on TikTok and like holding them, I thought it was gonna be heavier, but it's actually pretty light. There are other wands in this collection that I think are prettier than this one. However, I am a Slytherin and I couldn't get these wands without getting the Slytherin wand. So I got it. Having it in my hand now, I do think it's really pretty. I like that it comes with this card with, you know, the information on it. The box is really nice. If you wanted to display it inside its box, I think it would look absolutely beautiful. I want to figure out a way to display it with the card. I'm not sure how I would do that because I like the card and how it has like the story of it on it. I'm like a loser like that. I ordered this one from the Harry Potter shop in New York. So it pretty much came within two days of me ordering it. I am from New York, so I kind of figured that it would come very quickly. Other wands I did order from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, which is based in the UK. Now the reason I didn't order the Locket of Slytherin wand from that website is because it was actually sold out on that website. So I had to look on different websites because I was going to be very upset if I got all these wands and I didn't get the Slytherin one because one, I am a Slytherin and two, it just completes the sort of collection. I will link everything down below. But yeah, so that's, this is the Slytherin wand. It's really pretty in person. I like haven't been breathing this entire time that I've been filming, so. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. 
So there's two in there. And there's two in here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna start with this one. This is like weirdly taped and like not really wrapped. When you were about to complain about how badly it was packaged and they pulled an Uno reverse card on you. Yep. These are so, wait, these are so beautifully wrapped. What the freak? Why is one shorter than all the other ones? That does not make sense. Okay, so this one is the same size as the box that I have here, but the other three are so much bigger. I got the tag off, thank God. That's, that's really sick. Okay, Whew. oh my God, I like wanna save this paper. How do I open it? Oh, it's not even tied, it's literally. <laughs> Look at how nicely it is freaking wrap. It's a professional job. Okay, I see yellow, which means I'm gonna assume this is the Hufflepuff cup wand. Okay, so we have, we have the cup of Hufflepuff wand. So you open it up, okay. So here we have the card, it has the Hufflepuff crest on there, and then the information. The cup of Hufflepuff. Inspired by the small golden cup with a mysterious past, the cup of Hufflepuff wand details the unique Baroque metal work we see on the fabled house relic. A suitable treasure for any Hufflepuff, this design is for those who remain true to themselves and to others, even in difficult times. Okay, I'm not a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at this. This is huge and it's heavy. Okay, so it has like pretty much the same. Actually, this is a little gray, not so much black but it has the plain wand itself. And then on the top, it has this beautiful metal work. This is the weight that I thought the Slytherin wand was gonna be. Oh my God, it's really comfortable to hold too. This thing is freaking beautiful. It's huge. I thought this would be so much smaller. Detail on it. I can't believe this. Wait, why do I love this? I literally don't even, I'm like speechless. I don't even know what to say about this. And this wasn't even the wand that I thought was gonna be my favorite. It's gonna gonna put that back and move on to the next one. So now I'm gonna open this one. They're not labeled on the outside, so I have no idea. Friends and fam, if you get a gift tag that says it's from the Wizarding World, don't get excited, because it's not. I see red. It's just, it's, it's Gryffindor. We know that that's the Gryffindor wand. Okay, yep, the Sword of Gryffindor. Let's open this. Again, we have a card with the Gryffindor crest on the back and on the front. The Sword of Gryffindor. Inspired by the goblin-made sword of Godric Gryffindor, the Sword of Gryffindor wand is inset with ruby-like jewels and ornate metalwork, evocative of the revered relic. A perfect symbol of courage and determination, this design is for those bravest at heart. I'm like, I'm like a little scared to open it. Holy. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh, you're kidding. I thought this was gonna be an interesting video and it's literally not because I have nothing to say. This is so pretty. So this wand is actually brown for the majority of the wand and it's also rounded, which I don't know if you noticed on the Hufflepuff and the Slytherin wands, they were more square wands, I believe. I don't know if they were exactly squares, but like, look at this handle, the ruby at the top. I mean, obviously it's not a real ruby, but we're gonna say that it is because holy, the details. Oh my gosh, and it's got the Gryffindor Door logo. Again, this is a relatively heavy wand. I guess the wands that are metal are heavier than the Slytherin one, because the Slytherin one, I'm assuming it was like resin. Oh my god, this is so freaking pretty. I don't I, I don't even know what to say. It's really not even that much longer. Why is the box so much bigger? Wow, these wands are so freaking pretty. See, I'm glad I got them because they are really pretty. I'm gonna go with this one. I hope this is the Ravenclaw one. I'm gonna open the other one because I just saw that that was the Hogwarts one. So now we're gonna open this one because it's the Ravenclaw one. <laughs> We've got blue, which means this is the good old diadem of Ravenclaw wand. Yep. This is the one that I, when I first saw the pictures, I thought this would be the prettiest one. If I had 
speechless reactions for these wands. I'm really hoping that this lives up to the hype. Ravenclaw Crest, Diadem of Ravenclaw. Inspired by the powerful and famed Diadem of Ravenclaw, this ornate wand features many decorative details of the lost diadem, from its pristine blue stones to its ornate metalwork. Etched with the Ravenclaw house ethos in mind, this wand is designed for all those who value wit beyond measure. I don't believe in the combination house thing, but if I was to be a combination of two houses, I would be Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, okay, this is the thickest wand we've gotten. And just freaking, oh my god, look at that. This is so beautiful. So this wand is also round like the sort of Gryffindor wand. However, this one is black. Just look at the freaking detail on this. The Diadem of Ravenclaw has been a replica that I have wanted to buy for so long because I personally think it is one of the most beautiful things in the entire world. So having a wand that is sort of based off of that, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Again, it's really heavy. I have nothing to say. This is so freaking pretty. Let me move on from this before I cry or something. One wand left, the Hogwarts architecture. 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 I'm really about to freaking Google this right now. Architecture. 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 Why is this so hard for me? I have never had an issue with that word. Whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna open the wand now because now I'm just getting angry. Okay, so this wand, instead of having a house color, this wand has, if I can get it out of the paper, has purple around the edge. And then you can see it right there. Ooh. Okay, so it has a another card. This one has the Hogwarts crest on it, and on the front it has a picture of Hogwarts itself. Inspired by the intricate designs and hallowed halls of the prestigious magical school, the Hogwarts architecture wand celebrates the school's unique aesthetic and architectural design. Designed with the historic legacy of the school in mind, this wand is for those who dream of walking the halls of Hogwarts. Don't we freaking all. I am really excited for this one. This one was like a last minute decision. I saw somebody unbox this one on TikTok. The details in this wand were really the reason that I bought it. And oh my God, are you kidding me? So the end of this wand is actually, it's got a lot of little, I don't know what to call these. What is, what? crevice, little crevices in it. The entire wand is one piece, it is brown. And if you look at it closely, you see the stained glass windows in the top row, in the second row, you see, are those dragons? And then on each of the four diamonds is each of the four Hogwarts house mascots. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking beautiful. Just like, I mean, I, you could just stare at this forever. There's so much detail, there's so much texture in this wand. And again, this one is, relatively heavy. Not as heavy as the Hufflepuff cup or really any of those with metal in them, but definitely heavier than the Slytherin wand. This is not, I'm not ever gonna hold this. This is gonna be on a shelf, being displayed. I'm so glad I got this one. And I wasn't gonna get this one, and now I did. I think if you are a Harry Potter fan, you definitely need to get your hands on these wands. They're absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship is stunning. I mean, they're definitely like display pieces for sure. If I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably have to say either the Hogwarts Castle or the Diadem of Ravenclaw in a design sense. Those two, in my opinion, were the most breathtakingly beautiful ones. I would say if you were thinking about getting one of these wands specifically. It's kind of hard to pick the wand that you would want because I feel like most people would feel weird getting a wand that didn't correspond with their house. So I just say get all of them. <laughs> Don't get all of them if you are not financially able to get all of them. Don't be reckless with money like I am, please. The Hogwarts Castle wand, I would say for sure if you're gonna get one wand. I feel like it's nice. It's a nice like representation of Hogwarts as a whole instead of each house. I was looking at the house mascot wands. However, I did not really like them as much. I liked the Slytherin one. I think mainly because I am a Slytherin. I also personally think that one was the most well done because the other ones are kind of just the heads of the animal stuck onto a wand when the Slytherin wand has the snake going around the wand. So I think that is really cool. Oh yeah, I think I think the castle and the diadem are my favorite. Then 
Gryffindor, Sword, Locket of Slytherin, and then the Hufflepuff Cup. Let me know what you guys thought about these. I would say let me know in the comments below, but I don't know why YouTube keeps taking my comment section away from me. It gave it back to me for like a week and then I posted another video and it was gone. So I don't really know what's going on. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. I would love to do more unboxing videos. I would love to do more Harry Potter merchandise unboxing videos. Be sure to follow me on all my social media. I will link it all down below and it will all be right here. I have Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch. So be sure to check me out on all of those. Give me a follow, give me a like, give me a comment just saying hi, whatever you want. Especially TikTok, please follow me on TikTok so you can interact with all my TikToks because TikTok is what I use the most. Follow me on Twitch, I stream every Friday at 8 p.m. I will be streaming Animal Crossing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these beautiful wands. I hope this helped you maybe decide which wand you wanted to add to your collection if any. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as well so you can be notified of every time I post a video. I am trying to post three times a week. Wednesdays and Fridays are some sort of video and then Sundays I will be posting stream highlight compilation videos. The full stream will be on my Twitch so if you miss a stream and you want to go watch it be sure to go check it out. Tune into the stream. I don't know. I'm doing all of the self promo right now because you know I just I want more friends and more followers and more subscribers and I want to I want a nice little family so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time with another one. Goodbye. I don't think I breathed that entire outro. Oh my god.